Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo as well. How would you convert month name into month number in SSIS package? So what I have here, I have a flat file for you that has a month full name and month short name. There are two columns here and some data in that. So what we want to do, we want to convert uh, these month full names uh, and month short name into the month number. And uh, one one way to do it we can use uh, the derived column transformation and write our expression but that can be a lengthy process uh, and sometimes it get complicated when we when you need to write uh, uh, um, really lengthy expressions so wh what we will use uh, in this demo we will use uh, the script uh, component to perform that so let's uh, start i have created a package called pkg underscore convert month name to month number and uh, you can uh, create a new package by you going to the project and uh, clicking on a new SSIS package. So very first thing what we have to do, we have to read the data from a flat file. So we will be using a data flow task here. And then uh, to read the data from a flat file, we'll be using a flat file source. Let's make it big so we can see. And then uh, click on this one and create a new connection. So we'll be making a connection to our file, make a connection, and then uh, the first uh, row in the file has uh, the column names as a header. So I'm going to use this one, and the rest of that will be taken care. This, this is a common delimited file, so it read the records correctly. Now hit OK, and uh, then uh, go to the columns. We see the columns are coming correct. The next part is uh, bring the script component uh, transformation and uh, configure it. So bring the script component transformation right here and select the transformation. That's the uh, mode we want to use. Now connect your flat file source to the script component. Here we have input columns, we have month name, we have a month short name and a test data. So these are our input columns. Now on the output side, what we need to do, we need to create two uh, columns one month number for the full month name and the second one for month number for the short so let's create that one so we call it month full and then say number and then uh, this is going to be integer type as it is going to be number and then add a new column called month short underscore number so these two columns will be created go to the connection managers and here provide the connection from where you are reading the data so we are reading the data from flat file so we provide that connection manager go back to the script and hit edit script now here you have two options you can write your code by using c sharp or you can write your code by using visual basic uh, I'm going to use the C sharp. So I have selected that one. Come to the end and it's a public override void and um, input zero process input row. And uh, th th that's where we need to write our code. So here, how we are going to build uh, or write the code for our uh, output columns. So I will be saying row. That's how you write it. Row dot your output column name. So we have full, uh, we have month name and underscore sorry we have month full number and then uh, we need to extract the month number we don't have a, uh, a date or time here uh, from where we need to extract it so we need to build uh, uh, and use this function so we will be using date parse uh, date time and then parse uh, this uh, this will let us uh, get the month number so right now what i have i have uh, only the month na uh, name so month full uh, name like this one and then uh, concatenate with the value i'm going to concatenate with zero and uh, then 1900 so this will give me the complete date and from here i can extract the month so this is what I need to do. So by using this uh, month name plus we are adding the date, uh, uh, year and uh, day to it and that, that will make a complete date and then we will be able to use uh, date time dot parse and get the month from it. The same thing we will do for the other one. So we'll say row dot uh, month short 
number is equal to date time dot parse we will say row dot month short name here because uh, that's the name we want to use it and uh, we will add the same thing 01 and uh, 1900 you can add any year what you want uh, and that's not going to make a difference uh, but uh, 1900 is that's mostly people use uh, now we have a uh, by using these uh, uh, code uh, we are uh, getting the value for our month number in uh, these uh, columns so let's go and uh, uh, take a look uh, on the data viewer if we are getting the correct values so hit ok now bring the multicast here the purpose of multicast is going to be just uh, to show you data in the data flow task and we will be able to insert uh, the data viewer and see those columns so uh, select all the columns I, I will say and then uh, run your SSIS package now what we see here this is January right and uh, this is a short name and um, full name and then we have short name and this is the data itself and these are the two columns uh, we created uh, uh, here so we have created month short number month full number so if you see that uh, it is coming Jan Jan and uh, th the values are coming correct for the month number and uh, this goes all the way so now if you see you you might say okay uh, you are using December here how you are so sure these values are coming correct so I'm gonna go back uh, and change the sh uh, short names uh, not the same with the uh, like November November and December December I will change maybe this one to January and then let's see if uh, we get different numbers here so let's go back real quick to the file and then change this one to the January just uh, uh, to show you like uh, uh, the both uh, outputs are working correctly like they are not the replica of each other they are working as separate and giving us the right values so now what we see here let's make it big so for this one you have December and month uh, full n underscore number is 12 so that's correct here we have January in the month your name so it shows us uh, one so that's how you can use a uh, script uh, component transformation uh, as transformation uh, and get uh, or convert uh, your uh, values uh, from input co columns to the output co output columns thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video